welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this ice cream maker. It is by this brand right here, um, which is N O Moon. In a moon? I don't know how. I think that's how you say that. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So this is how it comes box. You do need like your standard KitchenAid mixer, which I do have one. Um, so that's perfect. So it does have a user manual that'll tell you step by step um, on how to use it. And it has um, ice cream recipes. You have your mixer right here. Okay, so it comes with this. This and that. So it comes with these three things right here. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer so you do wanna make sure that this is completely frozen before you make the ice cream. So let me go ahead and freeze this. I'm gonna pick out an ice cream to make and then I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start making the vanilla ice cream. Um, I did get one and one fourth cups of half and half. I have it in the saucepan and it says to heat it up over medium heat, stirring often. So I'm gonna put it on medium heat. So the rest of the ingredients that you're gonna need is gonna be four egg yolks, which I already have right here. You're going to need a half a cup of sugar. Where's my sugar? half a cup of sugar, one and one fourth cups um, whipping cream, two teaspoons of vanilla, which I got my vanilla right here, and then a pinch of salt. So let me go ahead and set up my KitchenAid beater. Then we are going to attach this. This is actually gonna attach right here over this. You just make sure it's faced the right way. And then it's gonna go down in here like so. And then when you turn it on, you can see it's going to spin like that. Mixer. So I got the sugar. I'm going to lift this up. So sugar. Egg yolks. Now after that's nice and getting thick I'm gonna gradually add this Okay, after that's all mixed up, we're gonna stop this. And then we're going to return to the same saucepan. Now I'm cooking again until it comes, um, until it starts steaming. Um, you do not want it to come to a boil though. And as you can see, it's bubbling but it hasn't started steaming yet. You don't want it to come to a boil though. You want it to start to steam and then you're gonna take it off and then transfer it back into the bowl. Now we're gonna pour this in here. You do that. With the heavy whipping cream. Your pinch of salt. And your two teaspoons of vanilla. Do you put the eggs in there too? Mom, it's going to taste so good. Now we're going to mix it again. So I'm going to let this mix up, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's done. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up real nicely. So as you can see, that's nice and thick. So I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put it in a container, and then I'll be good to go. So as you can see, it definitely works. I didn't even follow the steps exactly as is, and it still froze. Um, without sitting in the freezer for two hours. I did have to mix it a little longer, but it still turned out perfect. I definitely highly recommend if you're wanting to learn how to make your own ice cream. I already taste a little bit of this and it tastes better than store-bought ice cream. This is bomb. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. God bless.